Salutations and greetings, ego hackers. My name is Ben, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be discussing the sixth cognitive attitude, which is known as the critic. The critic is our inner skeptic, that old, ratchety voice that is always looking at the glass half empty. That is the aged, bitter grandparent within our psyches. It seeks to be proven right, but deep down, it wants to be proven wrong. The critic harnesses cynicism, which often accuses self or others of a certain lack. Some of us are cynical about our own worth, while others are skeptical of others' choices. But every critic wages its harsh nature on something. Just as the nemesis exists to challenge and refine the hero, the critic exists to cultivate the responsibility in the parent. That being said, let's look at the eight expressions of the critic function, starting with TE critic, that's the ENTP and ESTP. Extroverted thinking critic is cynical about other people's thinking, often assuming that other people are stupid, ill-informed, and incapable of logical thought. TE critic is highly presumptuous that other people don't have what it takes intellectually. TE critic already views others as stupid by default, which creates a self-fulfilling prophecy because the ENTP and ESTP often treat others as if they were stupid by default. Until TE critic turns its cynicism on itself, demanding the ENTP and ESTP listen and perform extensive research, these types will assume they know more and know better than everyone else. TI critic, that's the INTJ and the ISTJ. Introverted thinking critics are cynical about their ability to think through things accurately. TI critics walk around thinking they are stupid and unsure if they have all the facts to solve a problem or find an answer. INTJs and ISTJs go out of their way to gather many resources to ensure they have enough information to think through a problem. TI critic can make the INTJ and ISTJ foolish with their thinking. When they outsource their thinking to others and are unwilling to carefully process things themselves, they give in to the critic's presumptiveness. INTJs and ISTJs need to learn that just because they feel stupid doesn't make it so. The ability to think well is gained by practicing the standards that lead to high quality reflection. FE critic, that's the ENFP and the ESFP. Extroverted feeling critics are cynical about other people's moral judgments and other people's sense of self-worth. FE critics by default believe that other people are bad. By extension, the ENFP and ESFP seek to elevate themselves above others and naturally believe that they are better than others. FE critic does not often consider the value of other people's principles or personal philosophies. Others' moral values are met with resistance and assumptive judgment. How other people feel about a matter does not naturally concern these types. ENFPs and ESFPs need to learn that they are not better than others just because they feel that way, and that their moral sense about an issue, however strong their conviction, does not guarantee that they are right. FI critic, that's the INFJ and the ISFJ. Introverted feeling critics are cynical about their own worth and walk around feeling a bitter sense of worthlessness by default. INFJs and ISFJs rarely feel that their moral standards are good enough, and their demand for moral perfection often leaves them alienating other people. INFJs and ISFJs search for not just any, but deep appreciation from others. Meaningful appreciation is a confirmation that they are not a bad person. FI critics, more than any other type, need to learn to not make the perfect the enemy of the good. INFJs and ISFJs often find their humanity in the embrace of their flaws, imperfections, and moral failures. NE critic, that's the ENTJ and ENFJ. Extroverted intuition critics are cynical about others' choices and skeptical about the level of commitment of other people's desires. ENTJs and ENFJs, because they try to be responsible with their choices with their NI parent, naturally believe that other people are foolish with their choices. NE critic can stomp on people's dreams and wishful thinking, hoping to beat some wisdom into others. NE critic loves to make others more realistic about their aspirations. But the ENTJ and ENFJ often shoot for the moon themselves, and their cynicism toward others' choices reveals their lack of faith in others. Yet, NE critic has the opportunity to guide people to the best futures when these types learn when to give people the benefit of the doubt. NI critic, that's the INTP and INFP. Introverted intuition critics are cynical about their own future and do not easily allow themselves to want things. INTPs and INFPs are critical and skeptical about what they want. They are capable of desire, but that desire is usually expressed haphazardly and doubtfully. NI critic creates despair and hopelessness for the INP types, especially when they don't feel wanted by others. NI critic is one of the greatest hope killers of all the functions. NI critics need to learn that their desire, even if expressed rarely, is not less powerful or deserving than that of others. When they allow themselves to dream, just a little, it allows the bitter, 
old grandparent of introverted intuition to experience the carefree energy of youth once again. SE critic, that's the ESTJ and the ESFJ. Extroverted sensing critics are cynical about other people's performance, presentation, and loyalty. ESTJs and ESFJs are innately picky about other people's presentation. Having wrinkles in your clothes, disheveled hair, untied shoelaces, or anything out of place in your appearance will make them lose respect for you. SE critic also makes these types cynical about others' loyalty, discipline, and skill. But the only way to transform this cynicism is for the ESTJ and ESFJ to apply the same pickiness to their own performance and realize how unreachable many of their standards actually are. With a little wisdom, ESTJs and ESFJs can become incredibly skilled at building up strength, skill, and even a sense of fashion in other people. SI critic, that's the ISTP and the ISFP. Introverted sensing critics are cynical about their own discipline, the quality of the experiences they have had, whether or not they have enough experience to perform, and their struggle with consistency and reliability. ISTPs and ISFPs have an inner critic regarding their own consistency and strength. A psych critic shows the ISPs how weak they actually are and that their performance suffers because they don't practice enough. A psych critic feels dejected because it didn't get to experience a full life. ISTPs and ISFPs can transform a psych critic by consistently seeking quality experiences with people who are willing to share life with them. A psych critic teaches the ISTPs and ISFPs how to be comfortable, as they often feel uncomfortable by default, and to develop the habits and skills that will lead to a meaningful life. The critic is one of the hardest functions to deal with in self and in others. However, when you can get past other people's critics, and your own, it offers an incredible opportunity to create respect in others and build up respect for yourself. The path of the critic is either to foolishness or to wisdom. A person's critic will seem like it wants to be proven right, and every time it is, the threat of foolishness grows more intense. But deep down, a careful use of the critic reveals that it can be proven wrong. What do you think happens when the critic, rocking away on a creaking rocking chair in bitter silence, realizes that it might not be right about the world? A critic who believes in something and learns to believe again is a precursor for miracles. If you liked this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content.